working very, very well. Ooh, okay, I thought I was missing a deck here. So we're going to get into your November energy. This will be um, quite an in-depth reading in the sense that, you know, it's going to get to a deeper, a deeper energy than our typical tarot. This is the, um, I was going to say Alistair Crawley. I feel like that's a magician. Um, this is, wow, it's really weird. Why am I not able to, the Nostradamus. Maybe someone's name is Alistair. Maybe, I don't even know. I don't feel like that's a, a great thing, but anyhow, let's see what happens, okay? Virgo, let me cut the deck. This is my uh, layout I use for the monthly energies, and I will be posting weekly energies on the weekends, so you can check back again. I'm going to post all the energies um, at the same time from now on. I think it's easier for people to check their energy, check their person's energy, um, see if they get a double message even, which is always great. And personally, I like it when a reader posts all the, the readings at once. So there was two here. That never happens. I'm going to take them both for you. Virgo, I knew you're going to have a special reading, but I didn't know why. So let me get a little energy here. See what's coming out. Okay, maybe there's a third party, by the way. Let's just put that out there. Um, I'm hearing like nuts. I don't know if things are getting nuts or if there's more and more and more getting in the mix or uh, things happening here. I feel like someone may keep on trying to cover something up and make it look good, but it's just getting messier and messier. Okay. Um, someone needs to center their energy here because there's an issue with their center. Maybe it's their they're um, maybe they're hanging on too much or not enough confidence or not giving out enough or saying the truth enough. OK, so let's begin the reading for Virgo. The issue we have is trust here. So I accept that my inner voice will always uh, guide me correctly. I do believe, Virgo, that you are questioning a situation in regards to someone. You have a gut feeling about them and it's in regards to love as well. Maybe you don't think this is going to be a good match or you don't know if you should go for this person or this person may be um, not making a move towards you okay so i'm hearing your hunch like you're getting hunches um, but they're confusing you maybe you're getting more than one so it's hard to trust and to know exactly um what's good in this situation okay when did this first begin to show itself for virgo self-esteem hmm let me just take a look here again trust self-esteem so I think as the, the stronger your self-esteem has been getting, the more you've been learning to trust yourself, um, you're just getting stronger intuition here. And especially in regards to a situation, is this, is this connection good, bad? What is it? Let's see what's coming out here. Um, so I'm seeing the King of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Hearing someone left you out to dry, someone came in and left, someone came in with a lot of sexual energy, that may have taken a toll on your self-esteem, but I think you do realize that when you trust yourself, you know um, you have the answers. You don't have to go anywhere else, okay? I'm seeing the princess of swords there. You know all you need to know that's going to benefit you. So let's move on to the second card here, and we have how did this manifest during a change? So I'm hearing in with the old in with the old, out with the new. You may have cut the wrong person out. Um, seeing a Leo energy. What else is coming out here? Ten of Wands. In reverse. In with the old, out with the new. I mean, it's a message I'm getting here. I think that that had to do with something um, you made, maybe you were confused about. You didn't know what to do, um, but you didn't want a burden anymore. Maybe the new is a burden to you. Why was the new person a burden? Let's see. I feel because you weren't ready for it. You weren't ready. You weren't healed. You, you're not prepared for any of that stuff right now. Okay, Virgo, so let's see what the uh, third card is here. And what do you think is the cause of this? Well, here, maybe this will answer fear. You're not ready for this right now. You're not ready. Um, you're still healing, maybe, and you're still learning to possibly trust yourself, Virgo. Um, I do feel that you, you've been working out of fear. You've been making decisions out of fear. 
um, especially in regards to love and especially in regards to, yeah, wanting a relationship with someone, nine of pentacles to the 10 of pentacles. But something has to end here. And I'm guessing it's your confusion. It's possibly this low self-esteem. Let's get this self-esteem clarified stronger. The moon, that is low self-esteem. That is secret uh, fears, you know, and you got them. You got them all right here. So let's go on to the next. Why do you even want to engage in this situation? What is this about? So you have judgment. I think it came into a similar position for Cancer or Leo. Not sure. Maybe Taurus. Um, judgment. Did anything flip here? Yes. Something flipped. Because you didn't know what choice to make. And that, um, I feel like you were judging yourself. I think you took a long time to make a choice. Um, because you didn't, you didn't make a choice, maybe, Virgo. You might... Oh, sorry. Yep, I'm on the right one. Yep, <laughs> I just had to ask myself, am I on Virgo? Yeah, I'm on Virgo. You didn't trust yourself to make the right choice. Now you're judging yourself about it. Like when you're doing things out of fear, of course, things are not going to work out. You should never go after your um, dreams and wishes based on a fear. Okay, really important. So who do you want to become most closely involved other than yourself? Who or what, Virgo? Imagination. So you want to... Um, hmm. You want people to accept, you want other people to accept you for you. I don't know, maybe there's an issue here with your, well, you have the self-esteem, right? So you really could be hiding a part of your self-imagination. We have the Queen of Cups and the Three of Cups. But the Three of Cups only has two people in it. You want to return to someone that you care about a lot. You want other people to. Uh, to trust your decision. I feel it will work out. Your inner voice is telling you to return somewhere is what I'm getting Virgo. Let's see. We're going to see. We'll get more. If you could change any one aspect like. Or maybe your inner voice is telling you not to return somewhere. I feel like you made decisions based on fear. And if you want to go for a new beginning, it can't hurt. I think it's a good decision. But you need to know what you want when you go back. That's the message I'm getting here. Okay. If you could change any one aspect of the issue, Virgo, what would it be? Peace. So right now I do, I do feel like things are up in the air. It's not a peaceful position to be in. Um, you may be watching someone and it may be like just distorting your, your mind. You don't know what to do about them, but you're not making a move. King of Pentacles in reverse because you think it's over. You think that this Queen of Pentacles, your perfect match Virgo is just going to be like, nah, I'm out of here. You want peace. You want to know before you make a move because you don't want to be around any negative energy or anything that's going to scare you or something like that. Just get one more here. I was kind of in the reverse eight of pentacles. You want to know what you're going to be putting. You want to know. It's like you want security. You want to be sure of things. Well, that's not how life works for go. Sorry. Okay. So what are, um, or which factors or influences are guiding you right now? Gratitude. That's a great spot to be. So you're grateful for the lessons you learned. Um, it can be involving a Leo or someone you really fell in love for, with. Um, you may have kept on trying to get with this person and they didn't want you. That may be the issue. Prince of Wands. Yeah, you really hung on to them. You really fell in love with someone. It's very possible, but they didn't want it right now. That's what I'm getting at this point. They didn't want it. That could be the the lesson. It could be because there was a third party involved. Plain and simple. What do you expect? <laughs> okay. So where do we go next? Now you got this double energy here. Let's see. Friendship and courage. So what I'm getting is if you uh, want to have a relationship with someone, they're asking you to start as a friend, um, to actually get to know the person, the higher fin, the two of cups. And I see the king of cups on the bottom to really um, be sure of what you want. Going fearlessly is what they say. 
there may be a person in your life right now, Virgo, that you need to get the courage to go towards and um, validate or solidify this connection. And I feel like the, the answer is to get in there fast or get healed fast. If that's what the holdup is, that could be what's holding you back. And there could also be this third party situation that you may be involved in um, that you need to cut out or get your head out of, or there could be someone you're still attached to that you need to cut out of your mind. You've learned a lot of lessons. You faced a lot of fears. Trust your, your inner voice and raise your self-esteem is the message for you, Virgo. Please do join my Patreon. I will start posting extendeds on there. Plus, I have other um, unedited and random clips there for you to watch videos, messages. And, yeah, I really appreciate it. It's also just to show some love. And that's the um, number one reason I really appreciate it. And I show you guys some love, too. And I put videos on there regularly for you. And like I said, I'll be starting to do extendeds, um, not this week, but hopefully next week, definitely by the next month. But yeah, I'm hoping to do that way sooner. <laughs> okay, so bye for now, Virgo. Thank you so much. Have a great safe Halloween and your November up ahead. Bye for now.